Indeed, indeed, man. But let's do what we do best, man. Let's get to work. What we got first, dog? Let's start off with Tory Lanes, man. We got to start there today because there are reports surfacing that pretty much Tory Lane texts Meg Thee Stallion. And here's allegedly what he said. He put, I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know that I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I was just too drunk. And now, um, again, he put a whole bunch of, a few other things there, but the main theme of this is that he's pretty much attributing what happened that night to him being drunk. And I'm looking at this saying, man, and I'm, I'm asking myself, I'm like, yo, is this a smart thing to do? He's not admitting now that he shot Meg Thee Stein. I hope not. I mean, it wouldn't be a smart thing to do, you know, um, legally. But um, what do you think about the apology, though, man? Um, first off, hell yeah. He just told on himself and he apologized. <laughs> no fucking doubt right. about it. He told on himself. But the thing is, it's like, did you do it in effort? Now, now I, I believe it's genuine. And if alcohol made you do that, bro, you got some serious issues that you got to deal with. Maybe you are dealing with these issues. And one should forgive another when they deal with things. But I wasn't shot by you. Oh, you weren't shot by him. So mm-hmm. we're not the one in that position to forgive, forget, do whatever. And I think that in this apology, maybe one could ask or one could argue that he was possibly looking at a woman who obviously came out and said she didn't want to get you in trouble to begin with. Mm-hmm. She didn't want to be put into this, but you were trolling her. You were doing this and putting this headline out, doing this, and made her have no choice but to come out and say it and, and take legal action to maybe kind of get away from that right. and go, I'm sorry, can we let bygones be bygones and forget it? All all that being said, I think that Meg Stallion is going to continue with what's going on and maybe settle out of court somehow to where he avoids the jail time or whatever kind of uh, maximum punishment he could receive you know? for it. What you mean? Can, can you? Is that even possible? Oh, shit, I don't know. Like, if you, it's like no if you shoot somebody and the cops now you now say that you shot them. Yeah, they're gonna pick that up. I don't think they're gonna let you guys, you know, settle, you know, out of court. I know in a lot of places the state picks it up most of the time. So even though they may settle, and I mean that means she's gonna not gonna testify. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. But if you come out and say that you did it, man, I mean I think that's kind of crazy. And then how the hell did those text messages get out? Like who did make this down and how how they know? Oh, how does somebody notice he supposedly sent her text messages too? You know it's what been mean? a lot it's of leaked crazy. shit out here. That's real weird. Like Uh-oh. how do how do people get <laughs> leaked? How do information leak and then people not know about it? It's some deeper shit to that. But we ain't gonna get into everybody's business tonight. But he made a mistake, bro. I think I think Tory Lane. And yeah. if he did, like he should have said this the day after. Like why wait till this thing them blew up? Meg Thee Stein done been on the internet two or three times going in, feeling a certain type of way. Meg Thee Stein thinks now that you're calling them blogs and telling them about trying to twist the story. So I just think it's a dollar, you know, um, dollar late, day short. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's smart. Um, and again, he's a Canadian dude. So now if you get convicted of this, Go now you might, yeah, you might be out of the state. So, you know, uh, I think it was just a bad move because now we all know we sh- shouldn't have been that way. It should have been just between you and Meg Thee Stallion. And maybe it was something where you say, you know what, Tory ain't do it. Somebody else did it. And it worked where they could get it off. But now it's like you out here admitting this shit. And it done, the text message is done leaked, so called. And it just looks bad, man. But hey, he's a man. He apologized. And, um, you know, you got to take that at least with a grain of salt. I genuinely think he was sorry and contrite in his apology to her and what he did. Do you. He had had no fucking idea the shit was gonna get leaked. You know what I'm saying? Right. Had no idea the shit would be on the internet. We'd be talking about it right now. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, one would argue who leaked it. Who knows? I'm not gonna sit there and put that on Meg Thee Stallion. But this shit been real weird. How f- phone conversations have been jumping out of people's phones and on the internet. It's crazy. And I want to be clear too, because something telling my brain it's like, yo, he never really said he did the shooting. So I want to be clear. Just because he says something happened, he's apologized for his actions. For the incident. Yeah, he's not apologizing for the shooting. So I just kind of want to just be clear with that. Even though you can, it's like one of those things you can say, you know, you can lead and say, yeah, he probably is talking about that. But he didn't specifically say that. So I, you know, I definitely want to clear that up, though. Yeah, thanks. And he is just, he is, yeah. He, he's admitting guilt, but he ain't admitting. <laughs> right, <much> right. <laughs> Maybe being a dickhead. Who knows? Definitely. But sometimes people don't have to admit stuff because they actually got caught on tape. 